Britain said on Friday it was cutting the cost of COVID-19 tests for travel from the National Health Service, the NHS, and was reviewing the list of private providers to ensure pricing is transparent. Warning, it would clamp down on misleading pricing. Testing is free for people with symptoms of COVID-19, but all tests used for travel have to be purchased. The travel industry, which has been hammered by the pandemic, has long complained that the costs of tests are too high. The United Kingdom operates a traffic light system for international travel, with low-risk countries rated green for quarantine-free travel, medium-risk countries rated amber, and red countries requiring arrivals to spend 10 days in isolation in a hotel. People arriving from green and amber list destinations must take at least one such test to avoid fines of up to £2,000. The Department of Health and Social Care said the cost of NHS travel tests will be reduced from £88 to £68 for arrivals from green list countries or fully vaccinated arrivals from amber list countries and from £170 to £136 for two tests for arrivals from amber countries who are not fully vaccinated. I know how much people have looked forward to the summer holidays and that the cost of PCR testing can be a barrier to that. That is why I am determined to protect consumers and hard-working families from exploitative practices and ensure high-quality tests are available at a reasonable price, said Health Minister Sajid Javid. He also ordered a rapid review of the pricing and service standards of all test providers. He said any provider found to be misleading the public will be kicked off the list. Last week, as I mentioned in a video before, the Britain's competition regulator, the Competition and Markets Authority, the CMA, began a review of the COVID-19 tests market following a request from Javid. And by the way, Britain's drug regulator is set to make 25% of its staff redundant amid financial pressures, with up to 300 staff members being at risk of losing their jobs, the Financial Times reported on Friday. Talking about Javid. Senior personnel at the Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency, the MHARA, have expressed deep concern over the plans, the report added, citing a letter to the agency's board by senior staff. The need for budget cuts at the MHRA is driven in part by Brexit and the loss of millions of pounds of annual income from its role authorizing medicines in the European Union. It has also been caused by a squeeze in government funding, the Financial Times said. And so, Javid, you've got a lot to do. I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.